everyone, Nerdy Noob here and I have an unboxing video for you. I'm going to call this the 2015 August box number two. Um, this is, oh, of my munch pack, sorry. So this is my munch pack. Um, I'm currently getting this once every two weeks. I'm getting the original plan, which is 10 plus items. Um, I don't remember liking it very much last month, although I don't think I've posted that video yet, so hopefully I'll get that up soon. Um, I've been having some issues because recently a lot of the boxes that I've been receiving have been really like um, sweet and candy-esque and I really like snacks and savory items. I'm not willing to pay the dollar extra though because I'm cheap so we'll see how this box fares. Uh, once you cut the tape and you open the box, you should have a postcard. <gasps> wow, so funny, Cynthia! She boxed my box again. She did my last one. So I wasn't a huge fan of the last one. It was okay, but hopefully she did better this time around. Um, so this is the box, and once you take off this tissue paper, munch pack tissue paper, this is what you're going to see. Whoa, it's like a giant cookie thing. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, try all this stuff out. So the first item is a Koska... Sikolatali. It looks like a giant waffle. It's from uh, Turkey. I think it's chocolate flavored. Wow. Oh, I think this is one big thing because there's like goop in between it. So this is my my Sikolatali. It looks like a big giant, a, like a ginormous wafer cookie, as you can see how big it is compared to my face. And it has, it's not separate cookies because, oh, because there's goop in between it. So I'm just going to bite into it. The goop in between is a little bit sweet, but the actual wafer itself tastes like styrofoam. I wish this was a little bit sweeter, it's a little bit dry. Actually, the sticky stuff that's in between each cookie, there's like three layers of cookie on this. This thing is ginormous. But the layer inside is sweet. If it's a cookie, it's not. It tastes a little bit like styrofoam. Like I'm eating styrofoam. But as you get closer to the middle, the um the chocolate flavored stuff that's in between the cookie comes out a little bit stronger, so it's a little bit sweeter. It's definitely better than when you eat the outside edge. Okay, item number two is baked rolls pizza. They look like croutons, so they must be taste they must they look like croutons and they must taste like pizza. It says produced in EU. I don't know what EU stands for, but let's go ahead and open these up. Okay, that's what the package looks like. Once you open it, this is what they look like. They look like bagel chips with some seasoning on them. These taste like croutons with marinara sauce on them. So the seasoning tastes like marinara. These aren't bad, um, but I don't know if I'd necessarily eat these because they're, they're a little bit dry. They do taste a little bit like pizza, but I don't know. They're kind of, I'm not a huge fan of like bagel chips, which is what that reminds me of. All right, next item is Koala's March. These ones are chocolate cream filled cookies. So I got these before, but they were green tea and I didn't like them. Um, I thought they were like Hello Pandas, but with green tea flavor. These ones are chocolate flavored. So, I feel like I would like these if I can get them out of the box. Alright, once you open the package and you pull these out, they look like this. They're a little koala shaped. Same thing as the green tea ones. They taste like Hello Pandas, but the cream is a little bit thicker. But I like this one because it's chocolate, and the other one was green tea, and I didn't like that one. 
These are pretty chocolatey though. I got excited because I just saw an item in here that I love. Um, the next item is Canasta Fresca. I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you what, where these are from. These are from Thailand. I didn't know where the pizza rolls from. So Canasta, these look like strawberry flavored cookie things. I think these are from Guatemala. They're very little. I think it comes with four small cookies in each pack. So this is one cookie. Strawberry flavored because it has a little strawberry on the outside. I don't mind these, but they're really, really dry. So the jelly part tastes like strawberry. Kind of like what the Japanese strawberry cream would taste like, but this cookie in general is really, really dry. Like, my mouth is really dry eating this. It's not a bad cookie, it's just dry. Alright, the next item is called Koska Susam Krokan. It's a sesame snack. This is from Istanbul. So it's a, it comes with two bars. I'm just going to break a piece off of this. It's not overly sweet, but it comes off as sweet. And it's just like peanuts. Oh, it does have a strong sesame seed flavor, though. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of these, but they're not bad. They're just, I just don't really like them. Alright, the next item is called randoms they look like fruit snacks these look like they're from the UK it seems like that's all I can get out of this I don't know what these are they smell like fruit snacks oh these are weird they have like white bottoms so this one's an orange monkey and it has a white bottom part to it Oh, there's something inside of this, like a gusher kind of. Not fully, but kind of. So it has a really like fruit snacky texture. And it has some kind of syrup inside of it. It's really sweet. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Um, I had an orange flavored one. That was pretty good. I might... Oh, that's an orange one again. I'm going to try a red one. It's of a fire hydrant with the white bottom. Mm. This one was cherry flavored. That one tastes like medicine. Okay, the next item that we have is their cookies. Kai Maklam. These are from... I think these are from Turkey. But... I really don't. I'm not sure. It looks like some kind of cookie with chocolate. There's a lot of a lot of cookies in this pack, and luckily they're they're not they're not individually wrapped, but each pack is wrapped. So there's there's four of these little things, and then each one. Oh, there's two for two for six cookies. It's like a little cookie sandwich.
I think this is supposed to be a chocolate flavored cookie. But it tasted like dirt when I first put it in my mouth. I don't think I like this cookie. I just don't like the initial like texture and then taste of the cookie. Alright, the next time that we have are the Tom Yum Pret Sticks and I'm not going to open these but I love these. They're really good. I actually went to Ranch 99 and bought a couple packs of these because I got these in the subscription box and they were delicious. And then we also have potato, cheese, and onion. They look like potato chips, and these are from Ashbourne, Kilbrew Ashbourne. I think these are from maybe Australia. I'm going to guess Australia. What flavor do they say? Cheese and onion. They're potato chips. This is like sour cream and onion. But stronger. I like these. The last item that we have is... Hers Honey Cheese Flavored Curls. I think this is from Pennsylvania. Oh wait, Nottingham? PA, Pennsylvania? I think this is a Pennsylvania thing, so let's try it. They don't smell like anything. They look like Cheeto Puffs though. That's a bit strange. These have a really strong honey flavor. I wouldn't even say that there's a hint of like cheese in there, but it's a lot of honey. Not bad, but really sweet compared to what I thought they were gonna taste like. All right, so all in all in this box, I got about 11 items. Um, so I'm not going to say that I dislike this box. It still wasn't like amazingly awesome. If I had to rate it out of five noobs, I'd probably give it a 3.5. Um, I actually enjoyed trying out the items. There was a decent mixture of salty and sweet. Definitely a little bit more sweet, but that's okay. Uh, that's normal. Um, still not my favorite box. I'll probably still have to change the preferences that I have on it, so I just get it once a month, but... This one wasn't too, it wasn't too bad, but I tend to get a lot of duplicates. Although this time I didn't get any duplicates, which is nice. So thank you, Cynthia, for packing my box. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, you can check out my channel. And you can subscribe if you like. And until my next video, I guess I will see you guys later. Have a great night. Bye.